today on Divorce Court. I'm here today because my fiance, Calvin, is a compulsive liar, and I need to get answers as to why he hasn't completed his divorce yet with his current wife, and today I will not leave without answers. The reason I'm here today is because Veronica is on me about this divorce thing. I don't have a problem with getting it, but the thing about it is, she been married for 12 years and still haven't got hers. If my fiance doesn't change, I would like him to know that today, this relationship will end. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Veronica Ware and Calvin Alexander. The two of you have been together for two and a half years. You've been engaged for the last eight months. Joel, this is the trippiest before your vows I have ever seen. I don't have a marriage license. There are reasons for that that are... There are a multitude of reasons for that. But, Mr. Alexander, I'm gonna start with you. Two and a half years with this woman. What's, what is your main complaint about the current state of your relationship? Uh, jealousy. Jealousy? Tough issue. Not uh, sex? Yeah, sex. Oh, well, then... <laughs> uh, okay. Well, the... That's what I got in my notes. Uh, the sex, uh... <laughs> the sex is, is, is... I mean, the sex is great, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. For one, it's basically on her time. Like, for example... See, I do landscaping. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some days, you know, I come home from the hot sun, all I want to do is just get in the air, eat, maybe spend a little time, you know, probably lay down and go to sleep. Okay. So she come in, you know, she said, well, look, I want to do this. Okay, I got to do it right then. If I don't, if I don't do it, I've been sleeping with somebody else, basically. Now, so, wait a minute. The man comes in from a hard day of work, walks but, in the door, and you just want it right away. <laughs> <laughs> you don't give him but, time but to relax or cool down or nothing. <laughs> it's, it's not that, Judge. It's that he... It's really the other way around. He wants it whenever he wants it, how he wants it, when, any type of way, shape, form, fashion, upside down, but top, I don't get bottom. It that way. I don't get it any, that way. That's, now, that's, now, the, that's the main thing. Are you a sexual adventurer? I guess you could say that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just not but, me. But, but the thing about it, like I was saying, see, you know, when she said, let's go, I got to go. If not, I've been sleeping with somebody. But if, but if it's the other way around and I say, let's go, Bay, I'm tired, I'm this, and that's just that. Yeah. Now, do you believe that if he doesn't want to have sex with you the moment he gets in the door, he's actually sleeping with somebody else? Not necessarily believe that. I don't think it happened as if how he's saying it. It may be so that I also work a job, too. And just recently, I was working two jobs, so I'm tired also. So we're both working jobs and juggling seven kids at the same time. So... <laughs> The time that he may want it may be when the kids just got out of school or, you know, I got other things going on, helping with homework. It's just, like, out of the blue. Me so more, I feel like I'm on, like, a timely fashion where we're about to go to sleep at night or, you know, I feel mm -hmm. like I just pick the best times. Right. Where so him, <laughs> anytime, any place, any it's just... It's not anytime, any place. It's, it's not Does easy. she have trust issues? I mean, is it, it, is it just when you don't have sex when she wants to? Is that the only thing that makes her upset, Somebody or does she have issues? other trust issues? Nah, she got other trust issues. Uh, like, for example, if I leave the house and go to the store, and it usually takes me 10 minutes to get back. If I come back in 11 minutes, oh, I've been with somebody else. <laughs> I've been doing this, I've been doing it. We had an incident one time uh, while I was at work. I was working for a guy. Uh-huh. And we were doing landscaping. So he called her, you know, we tell him, look, we done. So he said, okay, go to the house, take them stuff to the house, or whatever. Plus, he had to pay us. Okay. So we get to the house, he's not there. So when he pull up, maybe 10 minutes later, he got a stove on the back of his truck. So he like, look, I need y'all to help me tote this stove in the house or whatever. So we're like, okay. And at the time, I think it was me and maybe two uh, more other guys. So we towed the stove in the house. My phone go to ring. So I answer the phone, hey, babe, such and such. At the time, I'm still moving the stove yeah, while I'm right, talking right? on the phone. So we get in the house, and the dude I was working for, he had, a, a, he had his granddaughter down. She was down for the summer. And she's probably about 10, 11, but she talk a lot. You know, she talk too much. <laughs> okay. So we get in the house. By the time we get in the house, and we finna put the stove in, and the guy who stove it, he talking, well, look, I want you to put it right there. And I got her in my ear, trying to listen to the dude. Then and you got to hear a girl. Old. Yeah, you got her talking too. Okay. So she hear the girl talking. So I said, well, look, babe, I'm gonna call you right back. Probably 10 seconds later, I pick up my phone to call her back. When I look at my phone, I got a text. Oh, you a liar? You with this girl? You with that? 
<laughs> now, did you really think, I mean, the man's got a stove and a 10-year-old in there. Did you really think he was fooling around on you? I think the issue was he didn't communicate and let me know what he was going to be doing once he got off work. My knowledge was that he was off and on the way home. So when I called she to see where he was, he's doing another job, and I hear a, a... It sounded like a woman to me, and I hear a woman in the background. My suspicion jumps up. But, you know, 50% of everybody around is a woman. I mean, you could... You, you, it's, it's... We're everywhere. We're everywhere. Now, now, you do say you have one legitimate complaint, which is with respect to some pictures he has texted to other women. Why don't you explain that to me? Yes, ma'am. Well, the story he just told you about the day from moving the stove... Right. That day passed by, and we said what we said, but maybe, like, a week later, I got his cell phone, and I was just browsing through and saw a picture. <laughs> just browsing. <laughs> just browsing, you know, just browsing. Just browsing, Not really yeah. being nosy, but just browsing. browsing. She liked to look and, for stuff. And I saw a picture of him exposing himself. And when I asked him about the picture calmly, not just, like, overacting about the picture, his response was, I don't remember taking the picture. I'm gonna tell you the same thing. But when <laughs> Mr. Alexander respond to that. <laughs> what is your I'm response tell, to that allegation? I'm gonna tell you the same thing. I don't know how that picture got in there. But, Judge, the picture was I... taken the same day he was supposedly moving the stone. That was just a coincidence. Cool that was just a coincidence. Cool but, Miss, Mr. Alexander, look, mm. I'm gonna challenge that notion for a moment. Okay. In order to take a picture of your situation. No, listen, listen, listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, 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 listen. But see, the, the way the picture was taken, like I was using the bathroom, and I had a soda in my hand. So therefore, I mean... Judge, it, it was a pop in whoa, one whoa, hand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Using the bathroom with a soda in your hand and the phone and your situation. Yeah, listen, listen, How listen. many hands you got? Well, I'm just... I'm, I'm just I'm saying, saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. <laughs> That's you know, when you go to the bathroom, put the phone I in the pop, I wasn't even in the bathroom. He was, was outside, outside, Judge. He was outside. That was the thing. I was outside. It don't add up. <laughs> At all. At all. <laughs> and all I get is, I don't remember taking the picture. I don't. So my problem, my reasons for having these suspicions when he's supposed to be moving the stove, I have many reasons She's to why. She's been having suspicions, though, way okay. before this time, have I got you. I got you. Now, I said at the top of this matter that this was the trippiest... <laughs> uh, before your vows I've ever had. And one of the reasons it's a trippiest before the vows I've ever had is because there are other people involved, which includes the two of you's spouses. You're married to other people, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand, Mr. Alexander, you got involved with Ms. Ware while you were married, and you, in fact, left your wife for her. So we are going to uh, see what that brings us. But one day, the ex, one day you can find her, the next day you can't. Like, right now, I don't know what she is. I do. My thing. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Antoinette Alexander, he says you're the reason that he can't get a divorce and end this relationship. What is your take on that? Now, Ms. Ware, even though Mr. Alexander did leave his wife for you, you say it's taking him too long to cut ties to get a divorce, and you're upset about that. Explain to me why you think he's dragging his feet. I think he's dragging because he's kind of fearful if I'm the right person for him. I think some of the issues he have may have him kind of maybe scared or maybe nervous or maybe he's fearful because his first marriage didn't work mm -hmm. and maybe he just... Well, weren't you the reason his first marriage didn't work? <laughs> no, ma'am. No? When I met him, him and his wife had already separated and he was living at Grandma's house. What, why are you dragging your feet? Well, uh, actually, I ain't gonna call it dragging my feet. I think it's just kind of like a money problem. For one, the ex, she's crazy. One day she'll sign the paper, the next day she won't. Uh, one day you can find her, the next day you can't. Like, right now, I don't know what she at. I do. My thing. <laughs> Joe? <laughs> now, Mr. Alexander, who is that? You know what she is. <laughs> <laughs> Say her name. Uh, Antoinette. Antoinette Alexander. Mrs. Alexander, how are you? I'm doing okay. How about okay. you? 
Uh, I'm doing fine. He says you're the reason that he can't get a divorce and end this relationship. What is your take on that well, assertion? Well, first of all, he's lying. And the reason why he's lying is because he knows where my mom stay at. He very associated with my brothers, so he know how to get in contact with me. I don't know why Calvin don't want a divorce. I, I couldn't ask that question. Yeah, when I contacted not divorce. when yeah. I contacted Miss Ware and I asked her, I said, I need this as soon as possible. And she said, okay, I don't live in Columbus anymore. And the job that I have now, I just can't just stop for Calvin and just up and just go. So, so I So you and Ms. Ware have spoken? Oh, yes, on multiple occasions. Are y'all cool? No, yeah. she says they still mess with each other, not even like a, week, a year ago, supposedly. He was still sleeping with her in my car, at his know, grandmother's house. Know. And even so recently, like within a couple of weeks, she just said that he's still asking about her and asking his family about, about her. her. I have dealt with her ever since. And, and she's told dealt. me this out of her own mouth, sitting in our home, that she still had relations with him. She he denies. Ms. Alexander, is that correct? That's correct, and Calvin know that. I never dealt with her, period. Just as well, just as well when I contacted Ms. Ware about getting my divorce, she said that, okay, let me know when you come into town and we can meet somewhere because we got to be around a notary. We ain't got to do it, though. I got the papers today myself. That's good. That's good. You ready to rock and yeah, roll, yeah, Ms. Right Alexander? Right now. So, you ready to go? With that being said, whatever Calvin issues is, I don't know. And frankly, Your Honor, I feel like Calvin don't know what he wants. She ain't seen me in two years. She don't know nothing going on. She... My question to you is, are you ready to sign those papers today? Yes, ma'am. Joe, you want to give them to him? Ms. 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 Alexander, I want to say something to you. Mm -hmm. You're a beautiful lady. Thank you. You should step on and move on. Be happy. Oh, I've been there. Be dead. whole free <laughs> and... I am. You have been emancipated. Yes, Free. I have. There you go. Be happy. <laughs> now I'm a little worried about you, Ms. Ware, but we can talk about that in a minute. Well, Mr. Alexander is the man for me because he's been there for me since we got back together. Where is your hurt? You hurt at some at some place. Deep inside, I can see it, I can hear it. What's hurting you so? Ms. Alexander, thank you so much for coming, and I appreciate your input on this. Ms. Ware, I want to talk to you momentarily. First of all, I believe that they haven't seen each other in a couple years. She said it, he said it. What are you thinking right now? Because you seem upset. I'm just upset because I don't, I don't know the truth. Like, she say one thing, and he say one thing, and nobody really, like, have proof. She don't have proof, he don't have proof. So I'm kind of, like, lost. You, yeah, I don't you're really... afraid. You're afraid. What would you need in order to feel better about your relationship and his fidelity? What he just did. What? Divorce Cutting papers. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You're going to have to get a divorce, too, because you both have to be divorced. 12 <laughs> years. I'm just saying. 12 yeah. years. Yeah. Mine is more, mine is more it, simple. It's more than though. just a detail. Yes, ma'am, yeah. but it's, mine is it's in, it's in process. Yeah, I've I got spoken. You. In general, though, do you trust him? I do to a certain extent. The only reason I have never really not pass. trusted him was she... because of her. That's the only reason I... We've never had issues with any other women, mm -hmm. any other things you, like you, that. What are you fussing at him on the phone for when he's, you know, or late? <laughs> if you've never had any issues with other women, what are you doing needling him with Because it could have it been with her. That's, Mr. That's Ale my, Mr. Alexander, you say the past is what the past is, and you haven't been messing up recently. I ain't been doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, I really love Ms. Ware. Honestly. I really love Ms. Ware. This is where I want to be, and that's what it is. Mr. Alexander, that was a beautiful segue, because I'm going to ask you to give me a 90-second sales job to Ms. Ware about why she is the one woman for you at this juncture. Oh, I, I, I ain't got to act. Do a good <laughs> well, job. Uh... Don't look at me, because I don't want any declarations of love. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Well, for one, I love your personality. Uh, the time we spend together, I love. I love, like, the way that I can come to you and tell you anything. You always got my back. I know, you know, there's things I can tell you that I won't even tell nobody else. I, you know, you're the only one I've ever been with that I feel 
that I can come and tell you secrets or this and that. When I'm, when I'm going down the wrong road, I love the fact that how you, you know, lift me back up and... Ooh, Mr. Alexander, that was good. I, you know, a lot of people come in, I say 90 second sales job, they say one nice thing and then start complaining. But you, but, but it's you, the truth, though. It's but you, 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 said it, you said it all the way through. See what I'm saying? You heard what she just said? What she said? She, she just, just said, said it's the same thing, thing. I, I never even her. told her. Look. Okay. Ms. Well, Mrs. Ware, why don't you give me a 90 seconds sales job to tell me why Mr. Alexander is the man for you? Yes, ma'am. Well, Mr. Alexander is the man for me because he's not just my fiance. He's more so my best friend. He's been there for me since we've got back together. <sighs> he knows my heart. He knows that I'm a very compassionate person. He where understands. Is your, where is your hurt? You hurt at some, at some place. Deep inside, I can see it. I can hear it. What's hurting you so? I just been through a lot. I just lost my sister and my dad within like four months apart. Mm. And it's, I just been going through a lot, like trying to deal with it and everything. And just like, it's just hard. And he, he been here with me like. He was know, right he, there? Right there, the whole way. Listening, giving advice. Not more so just like a fiance level, like a friend level. You know, we're, we're more so like friends mm -hmm. than just fiance. Yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. I got you. I got you. This is where I'm going to say this to you. I understand that in your first marriage, it, you didn't feel safe in that situation. And I think that would scare anybody. Uh, looking at down the barrel of another another marriage and wondering whether or not it's going to turn out to be a safe situation. Um, Mr. Alexander, I like that man over there. <laughs> I do. You, you talk too much, interrupt. A <laughs> <laughs> little, little bit. But I think that you two may have found the right person for one another. Mrs. Alexander, I think you have moved on. You seem so cool and solid and together. I just love that. You got to... You, you gotta just be able to go. A lot of women just can't leave. Leaving to me is like, you know, a guy dumps me, it's like involuntary emancipation. I buy a hat, ice cream, I'm through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> you know, you don't want me, this, you know, it, it's all good and, and you don't want him and, and, I, and I, I congratulate you for it. Ms. Ware, I think you're entitled to some love and some happiness and I do believe Mr. Alexander can give it to you. And I want you to trust a little bit. I want you to feel comfort in that beautiful face of yours. I just, and I think he really, truly does love you. And for a guy to put together a declaration of love as well as he did, because most guys come in here and just jack it up. We watch your show every day. We watch it and record your show every day. jack it up. My man showed, in here, showed up in here and he did right. I'd hand you a marriage certificate, but I can't because that would be illegal. And you don't have one. <laughs> but I, I wish you speedy divorces, and I, I do wish you a wonderful life together because I think you will do well. This matter yeah. is adjourned. We're going to move on by putting this behind us and working on our relationship with the new trust that we have and going forward with that and working on our marriage.